that if we want Kiswahili to work in this country, we have to start from primary schools, then secondary schools, our secondary schools as we go up. So the role of curriculum development center, in my opinion, is very important. So we want to understand whether the certificate of financial implication mm -hmm. also has a component of rolling out the Kiswahili. Yeah. That is when we shall have completed the cycle. Otherwise, if we just come up with this law, it will be kept and to be more of the same. I am happy that the minister is here. She has come at a time when we are coming up with this law. We must move a step, have the regulations where we are going to see uh, strategies of creating the demand. Someone should feel they are missing something if they don't know Kiswahili. How can we now rejuvenate our functional adult literacy in the villages so that my old mother in the village can go for fun and when she's there, she's being taught Kiswahili Sanif. She's able to read in Kiswahili, she's able to count in Kiswahili, so that really we see that whatever we are coming up here is being actualized at the village level. We need to first bring people nearer and appreciate the value and the urgency for us to learn Kiswahili. The commission has developed a training uh, manual for Kiswahili and so it is going to indicate for us whether we should use Kiswahili of uh, the United Republic of Tanzania or we use the one of Kenya or we create our own. There's an opportunity to engage on matters Kiswahili and actually the Kiswahili Commission is one of the agencies that were established and is overseen and reports through that sectoral council. There is engagement at least at East African community level in terms of how we should be promoting Kiswahili. As far as which type of Kiswahili should be promoted in the region, this is now a matter that the Kiswahili Commission, that these councils would be addressing themselves to. I agree with the honorable members that we need to mainstream Kiswahili in the education system, that is where the foothold for Kiswahili should be as we promote all these other efforts within the informal sector. So I think that gives us some kind of assurance that at the level of government, through the re relevant line, ministries, programs, Kiswahili is being given priority attention. I'm sure even the Honourable Minister will confirm when we go to cabinet, I don't know whether those lessons are continuing. <laughs> cabinet every Monday starts with lessons in Kiswahili. Each district council should ensure that they either budget or do all that is required to work with the Swahili council to make sure that at all local governments they popularize Swahili. For us as a ministry, we are here only to process, to listen from you, to collaborate, to dialogue, to build consensus. I commit that the ministry will continue to work closely with the committee. We shall have time to sit and see how we work together and deliver on all the programs that are under the ministry.